When you race a train to the railroad crossing, the train always wins. In 1990, 562 railroad crossing accidents occurred in Texas alone. In these crashes, 84 people lost not only the race, but their lives. 272 other people were injured. Nationally, more than 5,663 railroad crossing accidents occurred, killing 691 and injuring 2,360 people. Recently in Fort Worth, Texas, the Burlington Northern Railroad, in conjunction with Texas Operation Lifesaver, the Texas Association of Accident Reconstruction Specialists, the Fort Worth Police Department, and other accident reconstruction organizations, staged several accidents to demonstrate the results when the train wins. Texas Operation Lifesaver is a program to create an awareness with the general public about the hazards of railroad crossings. Law enforcement and safety organizations from throughout Texas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana, along with the general public, were invited to witness the events. Accident reconstruction specialists equipped each vehicle with devices to measure the forces of the train's impact on the human body. The event received national attention. Television crews from local and national news services were on hand to cover and report the crashes from every angle. Brad, I hope you can hear me with this uh, train going by behind me, but you're right, railroad and public safety officials went a long way to make what seems like an obvious point. They rammed a train into a school bus, and hopefully this is something that you'll never see again. But what we had was uh, two engines and four cars that went barreling toward a school bus. This is a donated Dallas County school bus with mannequin... Crossings, it turns out, are especially dangerous in rural America and especially in Texas. More on that now from NBC's Jim Cummins. Recently, the Burlington Northern Railroad invited everyone to come out to this rail crossing in Texas to see what happens when a school bus is hit by a freight train traveling 35 miles per hour. Railroad and law enforcement officials ensured that the demonstrations were conducted safely and without incident. The results were frightening. The automobile, placed with the front end on the tracks, was hit by the train going 27 miles an hour. Although the car was not totally destroyed, safety officials predicted fatal injuries would have occurred to the passengers of the vehicle. Sensor devices placed in the vehicle recorded a reading of over 100 g-forces, or 100 times the force of gravity at the point of impact. It would be like you were hit by a 1,200-pound football player instantaneously. To make even more of an impression, a school bus was placed on the tracks. As hundreds of spectators watched, the train, weighing over a thousand tons, struck the bus at 33 miles per hour. Every camera angle shows the destruction that occurred to the bus itself. instantly separated from the body of the vehicle. Seats and debris were thrown out and under the wreck. A unique and terrifying view of the impact comes from a camera placed inside the bus. Several mannequins were placed at strategic positions to graphically show the results of the collision. The results leave little doubt as to the loss of life that would have occurred in a real crash of this kind. Measuring devices recorded forces of over 200 Gs at the point of impact. That's 30,000 pounds crashing into a 150 pound person at 33 miles per hour. Go through your mind, what if that was my train hitting that bus load of kids? Uh, terrifying thought. I mean, when you cross a railroad crossing, people will honk at you and cuss at you and carry on when you are stopped and you're carrying their children. 
there's a head sticking out of the right side right of that, and that could have been tires. someone's child. Use common sense when approaching a railroad crossing. Stop and look both ways and proceed only when you are sure the way is clear. So many lives depend on your safe judgment. Remember, when you race a train, you never win. It scared me from my heart down to my feet. It really scared me.